With the polls tightening, it looks like this presidential race could be really close. Although he has zero chance of winning, Libertarian candidate Gary Johnson could take enough votes away from Trump in key states to ensure a Hillary Clinton victory. Now that wouldn't be an issue for me if Johnson were a principled Libertarian candidate. But he isn't. He's a total fraud and a complete idiot. Gary Johnson, the so-called small government libertarian, wants to give the government the power to forcibly inject your children at gunpoint if necessary. That's not libertarian. You see, there's something called the non-aggression principle, Gary. Don't know if you've heard of it. Yeah, it's basically the bedrock of libertarian values. Might be worth googling. During a recent CNBC interview, Johnson said he was open to supporting a carbon tax. Well, I do think that uh, climate change is occurring, that it is man-caused. One, one of the proposals that I think is a very libertarian proposal, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm just open to this, is, is uh, taxing carbon emission. Right, so the so-called small government libertarian wants to implement a massive government taxing scheme enforced by a gigantic, onerous, centralised bureaucracy. That's not libertarian. The so-called small government libertarian wants to give the government the power to shut down bakeries that refuse to make gay wedding cakes, violating his own libertarian party's platform. That's not libertarian. Thing so to the do Jewish baker to the should wedding. have to bake the cake for the Nazi wedding? That's, uh, that would be my contention, yes. The so-called Libertarian supports Black Lives Matter, a group whose public platform has all the specific hallmarks of Marxism. The exact opposite of Libertarianism. That's not Libertarian. Johnson supports the TPP, a globalist trade deal that even Hillary Clinton had to back away from. Would you withdraw from the TPP on your first day in office and unconditionally rule out its passage in any form? Uh, I am being told that the Trans-Pacific Partnership would in fact uh, advance free trade and so uh, I would support that document. TPP is not just big government, it's global government on steroids. That's not libertarian. He also wants to admit tens of thousands of Muslim migrants into America because that worked out great for Germany, didn't it? Terror attacks virtually every week, mass molestations of women, rampant criminality. Sounds like a violation of the non-aggression principle to me. And that's not libertarian. As governor of New Mexico, Johnson, the so-called fiscal libertarian, inherited a debt of $1.8 billion dollars and left a debt of $4.6 billion. That's not libertarian. Gary Johnson isn't a libertarian. He's a social justice warrior posing as a libertarian. He's a phony. He even gets triggered like an SJW when people use the term illegal immigrant. Millions of adult illegal immigrants who are here in the country. Un undocumented, by the way. If you use the term illegal immigrants, that is very incendiary to our Hispanic population here in this country. Why is that? It I'm just is. It just is. Just so that you know. Just so that you know and you don't have to use that term. But isn't the term accurate in the, in the sense that they entered the country, they immigrated to the country illegally, so they are... I'm not they saying came into this country because they couldn't get in legally and the jobs existed. And you or I would have done the same thing. And we're talking about now coming from New Mexico, a population with 48% Hispanic. How's the crackdown on 11 million undocumented workers going to work out? It's going to be dragging people from their homes. That's how it's going to work out. It's going to be checking your papers house to house. And I got to tell you, what Donald Trump is saying regarding immigration could not be more incendiary. It is insulting to me coming from New Mexico. Isn't it, though, unfair to compare, let's say, everything that Donald Trump's saying to simply using the term illegal immigrant? I mean, if I, if I were in... Undocumented. It I'm just is. It just is. Just so that you know. Well, just so that you know, Gary, policing language and censoring words in the name of pandering to political correctness that's not libertarian. He thinks calling someone a racist over and over again constitutes an argument. Newsflash, Gary. 
It doesn't! Racist! It's just racist! He thinks crooked Hillary is a wonderful public servant. Hillary Clinton. Um, uh, Hillary Clinton. Um, a, a wonderful public servant. On what planet does that comment resonate with any libertarian? I mean, just look at the guy. Who makes expressions like this? What the hell is wrong with him? On a personal level, Gary Johnson is also a complete asshole. After being presented with a replica of George Washington's pistol by his tearful campaign rival, Johnson immediately tossed it in the trash. What a dick. Johnson's running mate is Bill Weld, a neocon who supported the invasion of Iraq, backed gun control measures, endorsed Barack Obama, and is a longtime personal friend of, you guessed it, Hillary Clinton. And none of that is very libertarian. There's never been a more unpopular set of major party candidates than ever before. You'd think this would be the year above all others for the Libertarian Party to make a huge impression in promoting real libertarian values. But no. Instead, they've chosen to select a complete clown who permanently looks like he's about to break out into a childish temper tantrum. A half-wit who wouldn't recognise a libertarian value if it violated the non-aggression principle and smacked him in the face. Gary Johnson is not a libertarian. He's a fraud. And it doesn't matter whether you support Trump or not. If you vote for Gary Johnson, you're an idiot. Racist. It's just racist.